Caleb, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. Mixed day, would it be fair to say? Um, yeah. Obviously, it's a, yeah, I don't know how to kind of explain it. Obviously, I'm happy to get a goal, happy to get an assist, and it's my birthday, but the most important thing was the, the points. So, like, my overall feeling is a bit disappointed because I feel like we, sh we should have got something out of the game because we worked so hard for it. What do you make of the performance? Um, I think it was a, a good a good performance overall, a good re uh, response from Morecambe. Um, it's just really disappointing we can't get points out of these good performances like against Plymouth in, in today. Um, like we give it our all, we create really good chances. Um, once again, we're conceding too many goals, um, which is like ultimately the reason we're, we're not winning or getting points. Um, but yeah. What is it about playing some of the bigger clubs like Plymouth, like Derby, that seems to see you as a team raise your performance? Um, obviously, that's pro like a problem as well for us. Like we uh, raise our performances against these big teams. Uh, we need to be doing it every game, no matter what uh, team we're coming across. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think we all know it's a massive game. We all know the fans will be up for it, um, and it's just a good experience to play against these top teams, which I think just makes us more ready to go in and put in a big performance. We talked last week at Morecambe about. You really want to get a goal. Didn't take you long today to get yeah. there, did you? I know. I've been I've been manifesting it all week. Literally think about it um, every day. Uh, yeah, to that, I just had a feeling this morning. I was like, I'm just going to get going for it to come so soon. I was like shocked. To be fair, but um, yeah. good finish. It was all right. Uh, I, I can't really remember it. My my brain's gone a bit fuzzy, but I need to watch it back. But I think it was a good finish. A great ball by Sirks. Um, yeah, I'm right time, right place. You looked as if you found a little bit of room in the penalty area to head it in, because you, you, you always seem to yeah. just guide it in. Yeah, well, I knew as soon as the um, the ball went wide that they always kind of look for me because I'm quite tall and win my first contact. So I just knew that I need to quickly get into the box and I just turn around, see the ball, and that's it. And then, as you rightly say, you got an assist in the second half as well. Yeah, um, I mean, it's about, it's about time, you know. I've, I've been in... Um, I feel like... 20, I'm not sure how many games, 25 games into the season, I should be having more um, assists and goals. But finally today, I got on the end of one and Alfie was in the right position to put it in the net. When you came to Cheltenham, did you set yourself any targets in terms of goals and assists? Yeah, well, when I came um, to from the first half of the season, I set myself like at least two goals. Um, but obviously, didn't hit it. But then now, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to set, set myself any uh, like a limit. I'm just going to... Um, attack every game, same mentality of I want to score. I'm sure disappointment in the dressing room after mm. a defeat, but is there an element of pride as well about how hard you pushed a very, very good team? Um, yeah, obviously everyone's just a bit deflated, a bit frustrated because how much um, effort we put in, but we we like we know we know that the, the teams are big teams, but we just we just want to start changing these results and making getting the three points from them instead. And there's no let up in terms of the big teams, are there? With Plymouth yeah. away next Saturday and then yeah. Sheffield Wednesday at home uh, on the following Tuesday. Are these the type of games that you go, I really want to play in them? Yeah, of course. I mean, I want to play in every game, no matter who it is against. But, I mean, going Plymouth away, Sheffield Wednesday here, but the big games, big atmospheres, big players. Well, of course, I want to play. And of course, I want to play well. And you mentioned you gave Plymouth a very good game here. Mm. So nothing to fear going down to home park? No, of course not. We, we don't fear any team. We, we approach it them all the same. Um, so we'll go up there and, and work as hard as we did today. And hopefully you get a win. You may not be prepared to say this on the radio, but how are you pro proposing to spend your birthday night tonight? Um, just going for a meal with fr friends and family. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Caleb, yeah, will you be telling Dad you're only 19 goals behind him, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've already spoke to him. Uh, he said, like, good goal, obviously, but yeah, I've got quite a way to catch up with him. Some of the really good front players in Derby, obviously, Collins, mm. Goldberg coming on. How did you, how did you enjoy testing yourself against those sort of players that played at the high level? Yeah, obviously, they're, they're good players who've played at a high level for quite a long time, so before the game, I was excited to play them. I knew it would be a test. Um, I was disappointed we conceded three goals, but yeah, it was a good experience. Yeah. Is, is there a feeling that if you keep that standard from the second half that you 
we we'll start to get some results yeah. sooner than later. Yeah, we know that if like we can perform, we, we we know we can even perform better than we have today. Like we've still got levels. Um, it's just about hitting them every game, which we need to be consistent at and do more. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the goal.